Alrighty guys, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, where today we are going to be actually starting Episode 4. Now, if you guys la watched the last couple episodes here, you would know that we uh, broke out of prison last episode. Now we are descending below the bedrock, and uh, that is quite literally the title of this episode, Below the Bedrock. So let's get into it. And once again, this is a series where I'm going to try and be as quiet as possible, so I'm not going to be talking much. And I might be, like, just go dead quiet for a long time because I'm just watching cutscenes for some reason. So, I'm sorry if that happens. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The admin. A villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. We have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nurm. Darn, can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. If Nurm wanted to stay, Jack, you have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him. Don't know if that was the right option there. I feel like I'm making Jack mad. Wait, there's a whole world down here. The first world, created by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this, this shadow. The view from up here, it used to be beautiful. It must be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him, and it was slow. You watched your friend die. That's awful. It does have a life-altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. Oh, it spotted us! If I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. 
amazing. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. <gasps> Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go. No! Water. Oh, it's carpet. My town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. See? What was that? Mini zombie. for me because because I'm tough whatever our defenses are impressive state-of-the-art machinery automated farming the oasis is a completely self-sustaining city it's home it's gone what what happened to it I'm so sorry I can only imagine if I saw beacon town like this save your pity Sorry. Is Wait, that a portal? This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. I highly I doubt they'll call me. back to that. Oh, get out of here, you walking carpet. <laughs> Eat yourself. You, uh, you okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <laughs> Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps, no sense of humor. Terrible conversationalist. I don't think the problem is with Luna, Jack. What? Don't you think this might be because you miss Nerm? I... Yeah, you're probably right. Sorry, Luna. <laughs> we will get Nerm back, Jack. I don't know how yet. But we're not going to forget him. Yeah, I, uh, I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said. Zara? <gasps> Look at this. My bed. Come on. She's freaking out about a bed. Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <sighs> wow. Come on, guys. Be nice. I'm being as nice as I possibly can. No, no, you're right. Sorry, Jesse. I just wanted to sleep. I thought 
If I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. You made sure. I know you're upset, but you can sleep once we've defeated the admin. That has to come first. So simple for you. Has not dried out. Stuck open. Gross! Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. Oh, I was what? right. A portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this. If you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara, if you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even... better? I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? Because the admin can't win, Zara. I won't let him. Not after everything he's done. If Fred's weapon can take him down, I'm gonna find it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so she's gonna fix that portal. I was correct about it being a portal. And now we gotta, I guess, deal with all these ads. Or all these spiders. And then we gotta go to Fred's place. These spiders are one hit. Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Creepers. Oh, great, just what this place needed. Run on ahead! Is my diamond sword enchanted now? Yeah, it has an enchantment effect on it. Look. I never say no to a little gunpowder. Thought it was just a basic Close diamond one. sword last episode when I got it. Unless they forgot about the come. continuity. Uh, Jesse? Oh, no. Who made eye contact with the Enderman? I'm sorry. No! You just had to look at it, Radar. You looked it right in the eyes. It's okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! Jack! I'm okay! Go! Oh, need to stop saying that! What is... You're in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. I'm Jesse. Hi. And this is Jack. Really? You're seriously making introductions right now? <laughs> We've been scared. 
scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. <laughs> the first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Help us and we may surprise you? When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises. Especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <clears throat> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jess. What do I... We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> splat. Ooh. Come on, come on. Just uh, gotta get some leverage. <clears throat> Unlike the English here, I can do this all day. Or not. I'm I really thinking on this. Kind of the same thing down here. No deal. Yeah, well, that's disappointing. <sighs> Yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, Squishies. World this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast. Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. <laughs> Move out, ya stink bags! Jack! Do I just jump for it and go for him? Did you see him land? Oh no. Jack. He he can't be. Jesse? He he'll be fine, right? Jack will be okay, buddy. He's got perfect muscle memory, remember? Bet he's had to dive off a cliff or two in his day. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're right. I bet he landed gracefully. Thanks, Jesse. Wait, what about Luna? What about her? She's a treasure-sniffing llama, right? Treasure-sniffing, not jack-sniffing. I don't think Luna would be much help here. Couldn't we use her to find the weapon, though? Guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Still running. 
We come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? About Fred? Does that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Benta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. You have to help me. This is important. I don't have to do anything for you, outsider. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. Are you serious? This place is weird. Oh, I'm gonna punch the dead bush. That's definitely something we need. Nice. Let's talk to Petra first. What are you up to? Uh huh. Uh, uh oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah? Do you think Radar still thinks... I don't know. I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? He's being weird with me. Like, like he thinks I'm still... still with the admin or something. You know how Radar can get. He's just overreacting. He'll get over it, eventually. I hope so. Just had to, you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. I didn't notice anything about it. I've just said that because, yeah. Kent seemed to be the expert here on Romeo. So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. He's just rude. Let's go talk to Hilda. I literally have to walk all the way up and around. Hi, um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hoe. That's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms so Favorite super tool. seriously. Diamond hoe. Cool. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. Okay, so his favorite tool is a diamond hoe. That's one to remember. So he, this guy's just rude. He doesn't want to talk to me. Um, anyone over here? 
Okay. Cam. Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away. Nice and non-threatening. Sorry. Thought I could ask a question. Apparently not. Uh, anyone around the fire? There's stuff over there. Crafting table. Willie. Let's talk to Willie. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet. But you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Something about the dog, okay. Let me guess, Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. <laughs> Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this, but these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done prompt like <laughs> I'm on a roll, and this so one's So she has finished. the wool, but not enough you sticks. Got it. I think I already got sticks. I punched that bush. Or did I mishear her? I don't have enough materials to make anything. Yeah, I did. You are, wow, you are really cute. Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog? What are you? Oh, no! Waffles! Waffles, come back! Okay, so the come chicken's back. name is Waffles. Waffles, So huh? Diamond, Ho, Fine, and Waffles. It's Waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Now I just need to find some wool. Um... No, I don't think I need to talk to her, but I'm going to try. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? Uh, not quite yet. Uh, where would I get wool? I got to look around. Radar, do you got wool on you? I can definitely use these. All right, hold up. How do I make a canvas? Because I <laughs> thought it was like a banner. I thought that took like three wool and one stick. In a bucket becomes the bucket. Careful not to hurt yourself. How long were you? I guess I was getting a little carried away. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not going to do this to Beacon Town, is he? I hope not. You have no idea what he's doing up there. If he does anything to Beacon Town, then I'm going to be the one to make him pay. You're, uh, kind of scary sometimes. In a good way. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. Uh, hey, Luna, come give me a, give me a hoof. Uh, weight resistance, you know? Uh, He's gonna oh face plant God. hard. <laughs> oh, baby, I bet I can probably oh, make the banner now with all the sticks I got. I feel like it's eight sticks in one wool. I might be wrong, because I feel like I've looked at everything except, yeah. I've looked at everything I can, I feel like. 
All right, time to make a painting. Okay, apparently I can do it now. So it was the sticks. I got a feeling it's something like this. I might be wrong. Oh, I'm dumb. I had to make a painting, not a go. banner. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue. So waffles, lapis blue, and diamond hoe. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> That's a little weird. Bit of a TMI. So that's Fred, huh? Talk to Brit. To, was it? I can't remember her name. Are. are you ready to begin? Vinta? I think it was, yeah. I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent, be my best friend! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Okay. Um. This is so. Do I just build his face? I guess. That's what we go for. Okay, let's do this. Because I got a feeling I'm going to need to remove that. That, that. Do this. This is probably not what I need, but I'm going to do it for a mouth. No. Ah, I'm... I don't know what to do. I I don't know what I have made here, but I'm, I'm going to say that's good. No, I hit the wrong one. We're done. No, we're done. We're done. Nice. Yes. Yes. Yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I just I do pixel art. This round, a draw! Yeah, what? Yeah, this was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread correct now you jesse fred was a loyal fan of the color blue we all know that but what kind of blue did he love the most lapis blue time begins now come on jesse you can do this his favorite color was lapis blue that is correct well done next question kent fred was a man of simple means but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very Dang good. it, he got that one. Jesse, 
Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. What was that pet's name? Waffles. We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct. Jesse, well done. I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. Oh, I remember this. What was it? It's Birch. Wait, what? Uh, uh... No one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You, uh... Yes! Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite! That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. I love them. Thank you. Nah, nah, Ken was rude. We ain't giving them to him. He can go cry in the corner, all right? He wanted to act smug and like he knew everything. Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. I do too, because this might take a while. Looking for the hidden weapon. Huh, kind of cozy. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? We ain't gonna jump on the bed, alright? Let's be respectful. I saw something down here. It's a book. Once upon a time, there was a little Enderman who was afraid of the dark. All the bigger Endermen taunted him and didn't let him play their Enderman games. Huh. Okay. In the furnace? Empty. No one's used this thing for a long time. Very long time. Nothing in here now. Except the Except button. button. Push it. It's a... Whoa! Secret room! Nice! Grab the torch, Jesse. There's gotta be something down here. Okay, let's check this book on the shelf. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. Okay. Who are the... I bet the survivors are the people that we ran into. Um, Prismarine Shard. Look at the map. Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? Hmm. I don't know, but it looks... Yeah. It doesn't even look like it's the biggest one. Like, this one... Oasis looks like the big town. Then you got... I mean, this one's even bigger. This looks like just a little compound. Or is there... Ooh. Another book. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. Th this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. 
All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. Where's the cabin? We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Zara's got to know where the cabin is. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Um... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but... There's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help We'll you. take him with us. Thank we need you. an army. <laughs> Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Okay. Where did... Hey, give that back. Damn treasures. Treasures oh, stealing thanks. llama now. Just full on snatched it while I wasn't looking. Okay, as well. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be calling it here for this episode. So, if you guys have at any point found yourself liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. Also, I do technically have YouTube channel memberships available. All you really get, though, right now for them is a special title in the Discord. It's $1.99 to join. If you guys are interested, go for it. But yeah, this has been Gun Chai Mori signing off. Peace. Yeah.